Welcome to another segment of Gamers Station. Now, I've got a very big release of the year for you today. It's called Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. Now, it is from the same developers for Axis Games of the classic Civilization game, but this one is set in space. But it's still a 4X turn-based hexagonal grid uh, strategy game. But uh, let me, we've got to see if it's really different enough from the traditional historical game to be really worth your money. Now, it's retail for 120 ringgit on the Steam store and let's see if it's really uh, gonna be worth your time. Since the earliest of civilizations, we have made much progress. But that progress came with a cost. <laughs> So, what's the gameplay really like? Well, it's set two to three hundred years in the future, so don't expect to be starting with bows and arrows. You will be starting with machine guns and laser weapons. Now, you don't actually play civilizations per se. You actually start as various corporations, and you get to customize it somewhat when you start the game. You get to choose what kind of resources you start with, and the kind of bonuses you start with, the kind of people you bring with you, and also the affinities that you're going to go for, because the game is actually not so much about the classic conquest, but you can actually have sort of transcendence victories or environmental victories. So when you're looking at this game, there's a few differences and a lot of similarities to Civilization. It's still gonna feel like a Civ game, but the tech tree, first of all, is actually quite unique, where you sort of branch out from the center and you will not be able to research everything in a single game because the different affinities you go for will actually lead you down different paths. But the whole game is still about city building, building up armies and sort of trying to manage and dominate the world in some way or form. Now an interesting mechanic is that this alien world you start on actually has some inhabitants. Not aliens like intelligent ones but sort of monsters and animals which are roaming around and if you get too close to the alien hives they'll actually start attacking you. So uh, dealing with the aliens is actually something you have to deal with and you can either sort of befriend them or wipe them out. That's really your choice. So uh, overall it still feels like a Civ game but it's a different take on it, really. Check. Ready to prime. And despite our advances in both science and technology, so we turn our gaze up to the stars and embark on the greatest journey. So, is the game really for you? Well, a lot of people have been saying that it's not different enough from the original Civilization to be worth the 120 ringgit. And it kind of feels like a really elaborate mod rather than a full new game, but that really is up to you to decide. So, checking out the game, there's actually a lot of new features. It's, um, it's, it's a whole new experience, really, but the main criticism is that a lot of the AI feels a little lackluster in their personalities, as in, the, the, it, it sort of lacks personality in, in the AI. But that has been fixed in previous games with expansions, so uh, Civilization Beyond Earth might actually get better with one or two expansions, which may or may not be on the way, so you should keep an eye on that one. All right, so that wraps up my review of Civilization Beyond Earth. And before I go, I'd like to thank our wonderful host, which is the Dell Coffee and Tea over at PJ Center Stage. All right. journey into the unknown, to discover a new world, a new home, a new beginning for mankind. Alrighty then, it's the end of another episode of Gadget Nation. 
And we're gonna take a little break because it's the season closer, but don't worry, we'll be back in a few weeks time with fresh new content, fresh new gadgets, fresh new news, and a whole lot more. I simply can't wait. We just need to get all our gadgets, etc., ready, so do bear with us whilst we do that. Now, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, etc. In the meantime, to catch up on anything, leave your comments, etc. We'd absolutely love to hear from you. And also, a big, big shout out to Foie Foie Bakery Cafe here in Jaiwan, the school area, Block J, for hosting us today. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'm going to sit back, enjoy my coffee, and start thinking of what we're going to be doing in a few weeks' time. We'll see you then.